what's up guys welcome back to the youtube channel and today we are reviewing the vmax nano now quick disclaimer this board is not a high performance board so if you are interested in a board that has a lot of power this video is not for you all right guys we're gonna start unboxing this thing let's see what's inside all right the box is a little bit ripped but that is fine and for the reveal oh there's another layer of foam all right that's fine and you got the board itself. Look how light this thing is. Just look at the size and just the weight. Like I could hold it with one hand, no problem. And look at the board itself, the battery and the ESC. It's all packed in this small container right here. That's it, ESC right here and a small battery. It's very impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, if you look right here, they got the nice accessory kit right in the middle, packaged very nicely. You got yourself the user manual, a whole bunch of Baymax stickers, a two amp charger, a T-tool, and their new and improved Baymax remote. I mean, look at this thing. If you looked at the old remote before, it had all the little directions on the remote. It didn't feel very nice. It was too plasticky. Baymax did actually take their customer's advice and they have improved the remote. It looks way cleaner now. I love the design. I love the logo up here. And look at that. The lanyard is actually reflective, which is also very cool. I mean, for such a cheap price, you're getting such a nice build quality. So that's a huge plus. But anyways, looking at this board, it is going to be priced around $279, which is a very cheap price, especially that it is a dual motor hub motor board. These dual motors are actually 200 watts each. It could reach a top speed up to 18 miles an hour. We're going to test that out later, see if I could actually hit this top speed. Anyways, before I go deep into the electronics, just looking at the top part, you have this nice finished design. I love the fact that they have added color into the grip tape. It just makes the board look way better. The dimensions of this board is 29 inches by 11 inches by 5 inches of height and the weight is about 12.35 pounds very light of a board the kick tail it's easy to pop up as you can see which we will test out later. The deck is a eight ply Canadian maple deck and the grip tape, it is a standard grip tape. Just flipping the board right over, you got these trucks, which are reverse kingpin trucks and the bushings are utilizing a 90 a durometer. The wheels are going to be 75 millimeters by 56 millimeters with a durometer of 78 a. They are very tiny wheels. And then the rear, like I mentioned earlier with the hot motors, they are utilizing sleeves. It also says it right here as well, 78 a durometer. Looking at the main electronics, this battery is a 6S1P utilizing 21700 Molly Cell P42A. They have a very high discharge rate, are an excellent brand of cell, especially if you want that power, that top speed, and also has a good lifespan of charge cycles. So for the price you are getting for this board, just for the battery cells they are already using, it is an excellent choice. The range they are advertising is around 8 miles, which is says tested by a 110 pound I like the fact that they are specific on their website. So we will test it with my weight. I weigh around 165 pounds. We'll see what range we'll get. The ESC is a LIFOC, which is also a Ling E ESC. You do have the basic Ling E functions. For example, if I turn on this remote and I push, if you hear that beep, the board is now on. And it also has the other Lingi function. It will basically lock up the motors. If you are on a flat surface or hilled surface, the board will actually stay locked in position and you can't really roll down. That's pretty neat. Baymax is claiming an IP rating of IP5 on this board. I do believe it will have a good IP rating. You have this nice rubber pad that is wrapped around this small enclosure right here. And lastly, for the warranty, Baymax is advertising a nine month warranty. For such a cheap board, usually they don't advertise warranty for that long for the fact that they are advertising nine months on a board this cheap i feel like it'll make you even more comfortable just purchasing this board just because it's cheap and you know it will last for a long time the nine months it is pretty rare so that does keep vmax in the spotlight especially for a board this cheap anyways guys that's for the unboxing let's take this board out to the city and let's have a good time all right guys we're gonna start off in low mode in three two one All right, we're only maxing out at two miles an hour. And now I'm gonna bump it up to middle. In three, two, one, go. All right, has a little bit more kick. I'm maxing out at five miles an hour. All right, now we're gonna try out high mode. In three, two, 
two, one. Thirteen. Fourteen. We're maxing out at 14, 14 miles an hour. For the final top speed, we got pro mode. In three, two, one, go. Right now, I am averaging what seems to be around 13 miles an hour. And I'm going 15 miles an hour. Not bad. The rider they used to test this board is around 110 pounds. I'm sure if you did weigh lighter, you could possibly hit 18 miles an hour. One key feature about this board is this kick tail. Let's say, for example, I want to turn around. Just use the kick tail. And now we're going back where we came from. The fact that you have the short wheelbase, you can easily jump off curbs. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. my general thoughts on this board like i mentioned earlier this is not a high performance e-skate for any of those high performance enthusiasts out there this board is not intended for that use like i am saying again this board is mainly intended for that portability the fact that you could commute on a very short distance and that it is travel friendly that is the key features of this board and that is what will help this board sell especially if you want to travel with this board because you cannot exceed to go on airlines above 99 watt hours it looks discreet it has good style it's a nice cruiser short board you have the kick tail which allows you to turn very easily if you don't like the kick tail you can still carve make very sharp turns on this board the board is very responsive trucks are very nimble especially for a crowded city where there's a lot of people on the sidewalk you have to get through other than that you are getting a good quality board especially for the price point for what you are getting out of this board and those premium cells like i mentioned earlier i will give this board a huge thumbs up overall anyway guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please leave a like on this video and comment below and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos please stay tuned around 2,000 subscribers like i mentioned in my previous video i will be doing a giveaway board anyways guys i'll see you in the next one